Angela in the Gates to Goodies Kitchen. How y'all doing? Oh my God. Uh, the world, you know, what we're dealing with and stuff we've never seen before. So we wanted to uh, do our part in helping to reiterate uh, some of the information that's being pushed out. We will always put the link or the resources so that you know exactly where we've got that information anytime we share a COVID tip of the week, okay? A COVID self-care tip of the week. Actually brought to you by my homegirl, Wendy Land. So check out the COVID tip, the COVID self-care tip of the week. Hey everyone, it's your girl Wendy with Holistic and Well. I have a YouTube channel where I talk about intentional wellness, herbalism, and self-healing in order to cultivate a better quality of life. So Sheila and I thought it would be a good idea during all of the COVID pandemic hysterica, hysteria and chaos in the world that we would talk a little bit about self-care and that we would have a self-care tip of the week. So this week I want to talk about gratitude and the importance of gratitude and how it really takes things from a negative light and puts it into a positive light. It's a skill and just like any other skill you have to practice it. So if you're going to do it on your own you can do it through an app, you can journal in a cute notebook, you can do video journaling. Um, if you've got family, little ones at home, everybody have a different piece of paper that you write the things that you're grateful for and put it in a cute um, jar or bucket or something where when you have your weekly get-togethers, uh, your nuclear family in your homes, you can now read all the things that everybody was grateful for and talk about them and really nurture that sense of gratitude to really help ease the anxiety of the chaos in the world. So that's it. You can find me at Holistic and Well on social media. Please tune into my YouTube station every Wednesday for new wellness videos. Until next time, thanks. Take care and be holistic and well. All right now, so you done got your tip of the week. I done got my tip of the week, our COVID self-care tip of the week. Now I'm getting ready to show you how to whip something up. Okay. So here we have uh, pre-made ravioli, uh, stuffed with crab and ricotta. We've got onions. we got flour for the roux. We have red bell peppers, green bell peppers. We have butter fresh chopped garlic, a little tomato paste, and here we have the crawfish tails and my very own Cajun seasoning that I made up. So all of these ingredients will be going into the etouffee sauce that we're going to use on top of the ravioli, y'all. Because this butter is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the onions, the green bell peppers, and the red bell peppers. Okay, so there's the onions, we've got the red bell pepper, and we've got the green bell pepper, okay? The other thing I'm going to add to that right now is some of the spice. So we're going to go ahead and start layering that flavor, y'all, okay? Okay, go ahead and give it, a, give it a spin, give it a mix, okay? So... We're gonna let these cook for probably like three to five minutes till the vegetables are, you know, kind of uh, not as crisp. And so then we will add the tomato paste and the garlic, okay? And after we get all that in there, you're gonna see what's next. So take a look here and you can see what it looks like with the uh, onions, the red bell peppers, uh, and the green bell peppers uh, cooking. Okay, so now it looks like it, that is about ready for, I'm gonna add the garlic, and I chopped up about four uh, pretty nice sized cloves of garlic, okay? Now I like a lot of garlic, so that in there. And then the other thing we're getting ready to add right now, too, is the tomato paste. And this is about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay. Give it some flavor. Give it some boldness, y'all. Okay. So, 
This is, again, a dish that um, I didn't start from scratch. I've got the, uh, the packaged ravioli. We're going to boil these. We're going to bring the water to a boil, put a little salt in the water. And then because these were not frozen, they were just in my refrigerator, then we boil them for four minutes, okay? That's it. You do not rinse them. I am going to toss them with a little bit of olive oil, and um, then they'll be ready to top with this etouffee, y'all. Okay, y'all, so now that that tomato paste and garlic has had an opportunity to kind of, you know, blend together, oh my God, this is going to be so fire, y'all. And so, now here's the deal. There's going to be quite a bit of etouffee, okay? So, you can make you some rice and then serve the rest of it over rice, right? Now, you've made two meals out of one. It don't get no better than that, okay? So now what we're going to do, I'm going to add a little bit more flavor, a little more seasoning. And then after this, I'm going to start sifting in the flour. Okay. So, and this is about a half a cup of flour. And this is to get that gravy going, okay? And so you just kind of start... You know, uh, use, use a whisk or a wooden spoon, whatever works for you, and get that flour in there, y'all. Okay. Oh, my God. It smells absolutely divine, y'all. Okay. So, again, you know, each week we're going to uh, be sharing a little bit of a tip on uh, self-care, COVID-19 self-care, y'all. Who would have ever thunk? That this is where we would be but this is where we are and so you know nobody on the planet is immune to it and so it's affecting us all in some way or another and so um yeah it's like you know what can we do you know so share a tip uh i am also going to share tips with you via uh another friend of mine she um has her master's degree in legal analysis and has a a, a business development tax accountant uh, a company in, um, she's based in Georgia, but she's breaking down that stimulus packet so that we understand. You guys can reach out to her uh, and have little consultations with her if you've got questions about how that works, that extra $600, all of that. So uh, because the rules have changed a little bit. And so to keep our viewers, our Gangster Goodies family abreast, we're going to do that uh every week so y'all stay tuned for that so now take a look at what it looks like once the flour has been added okay okay so here you see what it looks like once that flour has been added okay and so we're just going to kind of let this cook let this get some coloring to it before we add the chicken stock all right so now what we're going to do, we are going to start adding the liquid. Now, I didn't take the time to make my own uh, seafood stock or shrimp stock or any of that. So I just got some plain old chicken stock from the store, okay? So we're going to start slowly adding this in. As you add the liquid, it'll start to caramelize at the bottom. And so be sure to scrape up all of those extra bits down there. It, that's going to be some good stuff for you. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like once the fluid is in there, so you can kind of see up close. Oh my goodness, that is going to absolutely be delicious. Y'all, I cannot wait to taste it! So. so this is what it looks like once we've added the liquid. Okay. And I'm going to put the lid on this, let this simmer for just a few minutes, and then I'm going to add the crawfish tails. And when I come back, y'all, I'm going to be eating some ravioli. Here's the finished dish, y'all. Oh my God, it looks so good. I cannot wait to taste it so I can tell y'all how fire it is. Okay, y'all, I'm back. 
Let me take a sip first. Mm. I think I need to mix that up a little more. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Perfect. It needed mixing up. So, here you have the finished dish. So, this is crab and ricotta cheese stuffed raviolis with a tomato-based crawfish etouffee, y'all. So, I'm ready to take one. I'm going to taste it and tell y'all how good it is. I think I want this one right up here. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it looks like I got two of them kind of stuck here together, okay. Okay. Mmm, get that sauce, yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, y'all. Talking about whip your spoon back and forth. Okay, your girl did it. So let's taste with the ravioli. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm telling y'all. This 30 days, how many ever days is going to be now, has got your girl trying all kinds of foodie stuff. So I hope that you all are doing the same. I hope that you are taking the opportunity to take this time, you know, if you're with your family to, you know, connect and heal and love on each other. You know, if you're like me and you're an empty nester, you know what, girl, I've been cleaning out closets. I've been washing baseboards. I've been doing all that kind of stuff, you know, to, you know, just stay busy. You know, there's always something to do. You know, um, I talked to one of my residents that I served today and we talked for 45 minutes. But you know what? She's used to seeing me and used to coming into the office and sitting down and just letting it all go. And so I was happy that, you know, I could be there uh, for her and just have that conversation, you know. And so shout out to the owner and to my boss of the company that I work for, FK Gibbs LLC, Mr. Fred. Thank you for helping to ensure that my family stays safe along with the rest of the FK Gibbs team. We appreciate you. So peace out, y'all. You try this dish and uh, stay tuned for next week's COVID self-care tip of the week. Peace out, y'all.